Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got one of the most anticipated ROMs for our device on Oreo and it's the Resurrection Remix on Oreo for the OnePlus 3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, if you have been following my channel for I mean any amount of time, you already know that Nogat on Nogat Resurrection was my go-to ROM because it had all the features which I needed. It was infinitely customizable. It was just an all-around amazing ROM. I really really liked it. Now when we jump to another version of Android, it takes some time for the developers to cater it to the new version of Android. Now Resurrection Remix is out with their Oreo and this is the first release on Oreo for our device. So let's get started. Now, first of all what you would see here is the lock screen. Well the lock screen is the normal stuff, nothing special. This is Trebuchet. Now this is because it is based on Lineage OS. Now Lineage OS, I haven't really tried Lineage OS outside of this one so I'm not really familiar with the stuff which is available with Lineage OS all that much. But in my normal usage, I can pretty much say that it is very stable as a base, works out really well. Let's go to the settings menu. In the settings menu, in the about phone page, you can see uh, there is about phone page, of course. In the about phone page, you can see it is RRO, that is Resurrection Remix Oreo, which is amazing to know. And uh, as you can see, Android version is 8.1. Security patches of February has been applied. Kernel version is 3.18.94. Now, the Google Plus page for this uh, release does say that this is using c shame kernel so one of the best kernels available for any device i mean for our oneplus 3 so that's pretty cool build date is this one build number is this sns status is permissive not really sure if you can change it to enforcing i didn't really try that out now resurrection remix well you already know that resurrection remix is all about those features right so let's just jump into the features now first of all before that everything works as you can see vld does work out I've been using VLD for quite some time now and uh, it's been working out really well for me so no problems there. Let's go to the extra features. In the extra features, all the extra features are inside the configurations options. In here you can see clock and date options are available. You do have two positions for this one and also hidden if you don't want that AM CPM indicator can be enabled. Fun can be customized for those icons that's pretty cool. Two seconds show date, customize the date format. Fun size can be customized which is available network traffic indicator is available which you can customize notification ticker can be enabled and you do have that the battery settings are available you can enable battery bar that does work out and you can customize how that looks status bar weather can be enabled brand lego logo that is the resurrection remix logo can be enabled which is pretty nice to see system icons vld icon now here, VLT icon has to be enabled from this menu rather than the system icons available in other options. So that's something there. I, I noticed that. Other than no SIM network height, amazing. I would really, really like that. Status bar gestures are available by the slider and also double tap to sleep. Uh, carrier label can be customized and you do have options there. System UI tuner, you do can you can customize stuff in the status bar. Now note that there is no VLT customization on here, but that's because that's available in the other menu, which is pretty nice. Now in the panel option, you can customize the header images, which is pretty cool. You can customize that. Volume panel can be customized with all the timeout, opacity and all that. Now all these zero does actually mean default uh not really zero if you try changing them they are going to um you know just get messed up so if you don't want to change anything just keep it there it's really hard to find the default option anywhere in this one so yeah this is the default for this one so if you don't want mind or if you don't want to change anything just keep it there because it's going to be a little bit different or tricky to get it back to default options. So power mini options can also be customized. So opacity and background dim notification options are available for expanded notification and disable immersive mode messages. Quick setting panel, you do have quick pull down and also smart pull down is available, which is right to have. Tile layout is available, but there is no option for tile layout for the small quick setting panel, which I personally love a lot. So 
that is still not implemented but it's pretty cool you can customize that so these are available advanced options are available easy tile add that is uh, just click for adding and removing tile music tile track and also vibrate on touch is available which you can customize recent panel you can customize the clear out button where it appears also you do have slim reason which is really nice to have interface settings you do have fingerprint settings where you can enable fingerprint lock and also authentication vibration blood personalization is available and this is a novel to, to audio and i've been using it quite a while it's amazing and because it actually gives it that bit of an edge over the other realm because it just looks pretty cool and you can customize the uh, radius and also the scale of it also in recent panel so that's pretty cool font size and display size can be customized as you would normally and there is also customization for the uh, display size LCD density heads up display can be customized but there is no customization for the source timer and uh, the news alarm so that's something there Volume panel can be customized, you do have another option for that. Sound options can be customized for all of these, screenshot cam can be enabled or disabled. In the theming option, you do have system UI theme. So uh, dark theme just changes this one to dark one or a light theme will change the back to the normal Oreo which you are seeing here. So theming wise, not the uh, most pinnacle of Oreo right now. Expanded desktop can be enabled for per application, which is amazing. This is really uh, in this indispensable for people who uh, actually use this. Apart from that, call options are available for vibration. That's really neat. Screenshot options are available. You can customize if you want the full screenshot or the drag screen screenshot. Uh, screenshot. And also the delay can be customized so you can have any amount of delay which does work out really well the miscellaneous option battery color saver option uh, color can be customized Curve floating window we can plug three finger gestures and sensor block per package to save on a little bit of battery life in the lock screen options you do have security options where you can enable quick lock uh, reboot advanced reboot all this can be enabled it also has on the go mode option on the lock screen so you can customize that that's work out really well all of these options can be customized in the security options so that's pretty cool Apart from that, weather options are available to be customized. So there is weather display, weather location can be enabled, and conditions of icon display is available. Lock screen short, bottom shortcuts and center shortcuts for the lock screen is also available, which is a novelty. In the button settings, you do have hardware key control, and you can customize the backlight options on all of these counts. And this is the DUI style button customization. So you do have all the options which you will find it for back key, home key, and overview button. One thing which I did notice with a few other ROMs also is that double pressing the back key if you don't have anything set it will turn you on to the home button so that's kind of a thing uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of it I'm really not a very huge, huge fan of it because if you double tap this one it, it, instead of going to a previous page it will go straight to home button which is a panic mode that is still a something which is available in this rom hopefully uh, developers can get that fixed apart from that power menu options are available to be customized so you can enable all of this and that does work out really well so pretty much uh, you can customize all of that does work out really well long pistol for torch can be enabled and also timer feature can be enabled so that does work out really well volume rocker options are available even for co keyboard cursor control which is really cool and also volume steps can be customized which is really nice to have also prevent accidental touch pocket detection and additional buttons option you can customize the uh, notification splider options I did note that there is no vibrate only option which a lot of people have already said about it in the forum so that's something there swap options they are available which I personally like a lot navbar options are also available which is again DUI you do have fling and smart bar customization is available in the animation option you can customize the system animation to whatever you want those animations are available one thing which you do need to understand is that this one is kind of a uh, different font or something like that one user on XDA did mention that which I do think is uh, something odd but hey that's something there scrolling modifier can be enabled and there is a lot of options here so you can enable or disable the fling velocity a lot of things can be customized for that so that is a really cool scrolling cache can be enabled disabled looks pretty cool also screen off animation is available which you can customize which is really nice to have in the gesture option you do have gesture anywhere does work out which is a really good thing uh, in the previous rounds which I tried gesture anywhere does not really work app circle bar is also available where you can customize that and that also does work out really well so that's pretty cool again pi options are also available which is the PA pi options which is really cool for those who use that 
for others it's going to be nothing other than anything else it does also have suspend actions which if you are using you will be happy about that again weather options are here and you can customize that and there is app, app system remover if you are not happy with any system app but do mind that if you remove any essential applications your phone is going to be break so just keep that in mind then you will get to the about phone page where you can customize the where you can check out the change log features this is something which i have always liked about our uh, resurrection remix from so yeah lock or gtfos that's something there so that is it in the configuration options i know it's a mouthful it's a really handful but hey it's going to be something which is really special apart from that there is uh, there are a few other options which i'm really happy about you does have live display which is amazing i am a huge fan of live display rather than a night mode because in this one you can customize the temperature of the color of uh, of the screen in here so that is amazing i'm really happy about that and in the about for in the advanced option you do have front end display size customization i mean display is available but this does not have the pocket mode and hand wave gesture uh, enabler or something like that apart from that sound options everything is else is basically the same you won't really see a lot of things it does have a scramble pin layout here which you can enable that also music visualizer is available which you can enable from here display mode cover art is also available again pretty cool also in the smart lock option there is face unlock but the face unlock does not open up the uh, lock screen like in many other rounds which you have seen uh, this is still the early stages of it so yeah that's something there now in the system options there is system profiles and someone if you are using system profiles you will be happy to know that there are options available which you can customize endlessly and uh, this is something which is really really cool who uses their phones for as as their primary phone and you have meetings to attend to you have places to go you can set up different profiles for everything else so it does work out really well it's just amazing i really really like this one gesture options it does have touchscreen gestures you can customize that and this is the older style vr gesture options which is really neat i have been missing this uh, this one is set to open it camera so that does work out really well jump to camera by double tapping the power button is also available which is pretty cool and by that we get to the end of the feature section of resurrection remix as you've already seen it's a feature full of a beast and it does have a lot of features but it's slightly shy while it introduces a lot of features which were amazing in other areas it's not there yet uh it's it doesn't have all the features which i would have liked to have like small quick small set, quick setting tile customization that's something which i use on a daily basis something which i really appreciate and also hang uh, the heads up display uh the timeout and snooze customization that's something which i really need there are a few things but still as you can you have already known this it does introduce a lot of features and i'm really happy about that i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for features because it does have a lot of them now comes the battery life the battery life of the rom is also pretty good now this is cesium kernel so you can pretty much expect that but because this is resurrection remix resurrection remix has never been the feature rich or the battery friendly rom which uh, it was available for anyone but surprisingly i got about 15 less than 15 percent of active drain all the time so about 14 percentage and the idle drain was about 1.4 to 1.6 percentage again nothing groundbreaking but for a rom with all of these features i'm really uh, i'm really impressed with that so i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 though because you know 1.4 to 1.7 percent of idle range is nothing there but you can actually use akt profile and uh, customize that even more which is available now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom has been uh, pretty good now this is the newer version of entity benchmark so all the performance uh, metric which i normally use has to be a little bit better right now the performance has been adequate it has been smooth i didn't really find any stuttering issues apart from when uh, going for really intensive application so uh for the most part i've been getting a really smooth rom so i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for performance now the stability of the rom as i've already mentioned there are a few areas where this, uh, it's a stable rom i can say that but there are a lot of force close issues so uh for example whenever you are when i was trying to get first into system profiles it force close and i had to do a reboot that's something there Apart from that, there are a few areas where it just doesn't work as intended. But again, this is a first release, but you have to keep that in mind. For the stability, I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10 because, you know, that's how it is. 
So now the camera. The camera has been pretty good. Now this ROM comes with a Lineage camera which I stock and I really like that. This is Sultan XDS Lineage camera. Has a lot of going on for it. It does take a lot of good photos. But, but the problem is, right, right now it will be working, uh, I didn't really have any issues with that, it's pretty cool. It does also have a auto HDR mode which does work out really well, and you can customize that, there are a lot of things which you can customize. The problem is, I have noticed that sometimes it just doesn't work, um, sometimes uh, there is a camera can't connect issue, which is, uh, which I've noticed that two or three times, which kind of does take away from the experience but uh, reboot does fix it i am using gcam with uh, portrait mode does work out really well with the uh, magic module 4 portrait mode and hdr plus works out really well i have been using that for quite some time and um yeah when it works it works but it's not always when it works so that is gonna dock some points for it so i'm gonna give it a six part of six out of ten because um it's just there. Lineage camera is actually pretty good in taking photographs because it does have a few options available for it to take decent photographs. Just that the stability of the camera app is gonna give it a little bit worse score. Now the aesthetics of it. The aesthetics of it is also pretty mediocre. Actually there's only one option which you can customize regarding the aesthetics of it. That is dark mode, light mode and that too only for the quick setting style and all that. Um, there is blur customization which I'm really happy about which is really cool I'm really looking forward to it being adapted in other ROMs also it doesn't really have OMS support that is full OMS support which is without root with root of course there are a lot of rooms with that so yeah root is required for OMS that's something else which is available for aesthetics I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 it does have blur personalization which is really cool I really like that so yeah now the overall experience yes now that is where I want to say that Resurrection Remix Resurrection Remix has always been an amazing ROM I am really really looking forward to this being a very very cohesive ROM in the future right now personally I think it does lack a little bit of features Yes, all the features which it adds is going to take it to the next level. I really, really like that. There are a few things which it really requires, like ambient display options. There is no hand wave and uh, pocket mode options for ambient display, which I really use all, all day long. So, yeah, these are some nitpicks which I would say. But again, I'm glad that our uh, Resurrection Remix is on Oreo because that's going to pave away for a lot of other ROMs with more customizations available like what it did with uh, Zendi and Isony Ashes Resurrection Remix so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for overall experience because I love it. Now let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation for Resurrection Remix. Hey new base. So new boot animation. It's a beautiful boot animation. I like this a lot. It does work out really well and uh, I'm just glad I can experience it. Pretty cool. And goes to the RR logo. Cool. So guys, there you have it. That is the Resurrection Remix ROM for Oreo, well, or Oreo 4 OnePlus 3, which is, in my opinion, a very, very big f step forward in Oreo development for our device, which I'm really looking forward to. The uh, final score is going to be 6.82901550444. And uh, that rounds off to about 6.8 out of 10, which is really good. I'm really hoping forward to it. Now, before I go, there are a few things which I do want to mention. When flashing that, flashing this ROM particularly, do make sure that you have the official latest Team Win Recovery project. I tried it with Blue Spark and I was getting the issue where the internal storage was not mounting, so keep that in mind. This is a rootless package, it doesn't come with root, so you have to flash your own root package, iFlash Magis, been working out really well. Do my keep in mind that I am running ext4, not f2fs, so Magis doesn't really have any issues for my uh, system, so that's just there. Yeah, latest firmware and all that jazz is still applicable for this ROM, keep that in mind. Again, watch the thread, uh, because there are a lot of people, there is a lot of content on the thread for this ROM, so watch the thread. Just go through all of them and uh, ensure that all the features or all the stuff which you want working on this one is still working for other people also. So keep that in mind. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Then hope you guys like the video. Please share subscribe and like the video if you find it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.